Hello everyone and welcome to Word on the Street. My name is Cyrilda Summers McGee and I'm the founder and CEO of Workplace Change, which is a human resources firm located in Portland, Oregon. Today for Word on the Street, we're gonna be talking about vendor diversity, which is not a topic that I would normally pursue for workplace changes, word on the street. However, um, there's some adjacent relevance to what's happening in the workplace with people and culture. So I definitely wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about it. Different organizations and company heads have come and talked to me about what can they do to move the dial on diversity, equity, and inclusion in the workplace, which have been phenomenal conversations. Like people are really trying to activate DEI in the workplace in new and innovative ways, which is exciting to us. We've talked to folks about recruitment approaches and strategies to find historically underrepresented folks, how to make a person feel welcome and invited into the interview process. And we've also talked about different, you know, labor relations and employee relations matters that are equitable and fair for people who have historically not felt that organizations were all that fair to them. So in those conversations, we started to talk about different ways that companies can put their money and their time where their mouths are, right? Which brings us to vendor diversity and why we're talking about vendor diversity. When I talk about vendor diversity, folks sometimes say, what are you talking about, Cyril? What, what do you mean when you say vendor diversity? Here's what I mean. I'm talking about the kinds of banks that you work with in your company. I'm talking about the catering companies you use. I'm talking about the printing companies you use or the tech companies you use. Are they diverse? Do they support diversity, equity, and inclusion in their organizations? Well, at Workplace Change, we believe that you should invest in companies that do, particularly if you are a company yourself who, who, who believes itself to be um, on a path towards being more diverse, equitable, and inclusive, all right? So I'm a small business owner. I own Workplace Change, which means I have to figure out where to bank, for instance. Once I started my company and it began to get a little energy, I had different bankers reaching out to me saying, you should bank with us. Great, that's great. One of the primary questions I asked them was, how diverse is your leadership team? How diverse is your board? How do you demonstrate your commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion? And I chose a bank, and I work with Heritage Bank, that had representation at the top in their executive team, people who looked like me from my background and who were demonstrating their commitment to small business owners of color, right? That's me voting with my pocketbook, right? What about marketing? I work with a marketing team uh, that is all folks of color, owned and operated by black and brown people. That was important to me. Number one, so that they can catch my good hue, right? They don't have me looking ashy and washed out, but also because I wanna invest in people who are also investing in folks like me. And that's why we work with marketing firms like Better Marketing and Common Brand, because they are black and brown owned and they are focused on building into communities of color. So, we continue to demonstrate our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion in our work through our partnerships. And that's what we want to try to help every other company out there who's truly committed to and dedicated to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We want for them to see that there are a variety of ways to really live into and embody DEI in their companies. All right, so we made a tool, right? We made a tool called the Vendor Diversity Questionnaire. You can send it out to prospective clients or partners, whether it's a caterer or a IT firm, you can send it to them, they can fill it out. They don't have to, and it's not too intrusive with the questions that we ask or that you will be asking, but it does help you at least get an understanding of who's doing DEI better than another organization. It's also especially important because it will force people to start thinking about if they want to partner with you, if they want to, to join forces with you, then they have to demonstrate that they are moving the dial on DEI initiatives. So the tool is available in and embedded in the comments. Please download it, share it broadly, and let folks know that there are questions that they can ask to determine if they want to partner with a vendor or a contractor or not based on their commitment, their demonstration of commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. This concludes Word on the Street. Thank you for tuning in.